Hi, this is Mike from Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and today I'm going to show you how to create a desktop shortcut in Windows 10. Yeah, really. Okay, so I know to some of you this is going to seem like a really weird video. And actually, at first, I thought the same myself. I had a comment come in from a viewer saying, Mike, how do I create a desktop shortcut in Windows 10? Now, first of all, when I saw the email, I, uh, I laughed. And then I thought, actually, maybe that's actually a good question. So I went over to my Windows 10 desktop and I tried to create a desktop shortcut. And you know what? It isn't as easy as you'd think. Now, those of us that have grown up in the era of Windows 95, 98, 2000, etc., etc., have always found it pretty easy. You go to your Start menu, find the program you want, right click on it, choose Create Desktop Shortcut. Job done, simple. Life is good. Windows 10 doesn't make life as good, it would seem. Now, most people, when you get a shortcut, you install the program and it says, Do you want to create a desktop shortcut? Fantastic. But what if you don't choose that option and you want to do it at a later date? Well, it's not as simple as you'd think. So let's go over to the computer and I'll show you more. OK, so here we are. Here is my Windows desktop. And I want to create a new shortcut for OBS so I don't have to open it from the Start menu all the time. So let's go to the Start menu and scroll down until we find OBS. And there's OBS Studio. And let's try the 64-bit one. So we right click. And, oh, right, OK. So we don't have an option for creating a desktop shortcut. So maybe it's in more. Mm, nope, nothing there. So what we need to do, there's a couple of options you can do. Now, one of which is you can pin to start. So that will put it into your start menu here. Then you can actually drag it to your desktop. Boom, there we go. We've got a shortcut for OBS. A little bit of a long-winded way around it, but we get there in the end. So let's get rid of that and let's try another option. So OBS Studio, right click, and now we can do another one, which is Open File Location. So in Open File Location, now we can find the OBS Studio 64 bit, right click on it, and then we can choose the Send To option and choose Send To Desktop, Create Shortcut. Just what we've always wanted. And there we go. We've now got our desktop shortcut. So that works in pretty much both ways, depending on how you want to do it. But who would have thought it would be so difficult? So there you go. Something which is normally so simple to do is actually made a little bit more difficult by Windows 10. Who would have thought it? So anyway, hopefully this video has been useful to you. If it has, give the video a thumbs up. And don't forget to click on subscribe and the chime icon to get all the latest content delivered to your inbox. So, I've been Mike, this is Mike's Unboxing Reviews and How To, and hopefully we'll catch you in the very next video. Thanks for watching.